San Francisco man who is running in tomorrow's Boston Marathon has got a unique training regimen. He has spent years practicing inside the prison at San Quentin. Sharon Chin shows us the runner who's on the starting line of a new chance at life in a story you'll see only on Five. Weeks after stepping out of San Quentin Prison, Markel Taylor is realizing his dream of running the Boston Marathon. My favorite cake is pound cake. It's pound cake with ice and ice cream. Most of Markel's training comes from years in the Thousand Mile Club, a running club inside San Quentin led by volunteer coaches. What I do is concentrate on my breathing and my running. It's, it's my way of meditating. It's my way of being free. Club members compete in the annual San Quentin Marathon, 105 laps around the prison yard. Coaches say Markel owned first place. He holds all of the San Quentin records for all the distances. Markel also made strides in turning his life around, and after serving almost eight. 18 years behind bars for a second degree murder conviction, the 46 year old got his sentence commuted. And that was through my God, through my spiritual transformation, and through my running, gave me my healing and my purpose. Christine, you met Markel while directing a documentary on the Thousand Mile Club. Mile, she worked to make his Boston Marathon dream a reality. As soon as he was found suitable for parole, for whatever reason, I like saw in my mind that he was crossing the finish line at Boston. Markel ran the San Quentin Marathon in three hours and 10 minutes, his personal best. It qualified him for Boston, but the entry deadline passed. With the help of the race director, who started the nation's first prison running club, Christine found a way for Markel. He got a spot running as part of a charity team the Urban League of Eastern Massachusetts. Just days ago, an online campaign raised the money he needed to join the team. $8,500 donated to the nonprofit's economic and social justice mission. Meanwhile, Markel's been averaging a race a week, training with volunteer coaches. He actually was the first 40 and older runner to finish the Oakland Half Marathon. He took first place. He's open to changing, improving, getting better, listening to advice, listening to coaches. The same qualities that are helping him settle into his new job, transitional housing, and new opportunities. I'm a winner in the fact that I did the work to allow myself a second chance at freedom. And by going to Boston, that's another blessing. When he crosses the finish line, he hopes it's the start of many milestones in his marathon of life.